Right, so that one was rather easy to knock out to be honest with you, there was not much left of it, we just need to remove the, the collar to the other so very cold today, very cold, we'll crack on here, get some heat in us. 645 CI, see all my weapons of choice, see that bush, pretty knackered, that one, well it was incredibly difficult to get in, incredibly difficult man, um, so it's in there, um, we've went through, don't know how many bits of threaded rod, just try to get that to how many tools and it's got a, a split in it so that, I don't know if the, why it's cut like that so and it was very, it's very hard to tell uh, where it was split so I just put a wee, a wee mark on it, a wee paint mark where I thought that was um, and all the adjustments done on this side anyway, so I think we're all good there. Um, so yeah, we'll crack on with this one. We we'll get this one all built up now, and we'll crack on with that one. Get that one pressed into there. But not easy, man. Here, eh? I, I, I was a bit ready for giving up. To be honest with you, I just I was not. I was not happy. I was not happy to be honest with you. Um, everything I've tried to. That's as best as I could get it in. To be honest with you, everything else I tried, it was just going to. I destroyed the the tool, uh, well, which I did. So I don't know how many bits of fairy rod and different spokes and different cups for pressing. Um, I, I think taking it off in the press it just gets difficult. Um, I think the best is right, squash that, but which we did with just big pliers um, while we were drawing it. But aye, incredibly difficult, man. Incredibly difficult. So. Obviously, you know we did all the rack on it. I've just got the the cover to put on it. Aye, so that's leaking in there. So this was all cleaned when the subframe was off it. So that definitely that upper, uh, oh sorry, that lower sump pan gasket is definitely got a wee sweat on it. Not uncommon, uh, uncommon for BMW. Um, I just did need to make some minor adjustments on this rack, uh, you can see a new lovely Delphi track rod ends there um, so all the bushes on the front are okay, all good and the old bar links all good obviously we'll get the Bilsteins uh, which are good on these so we'll get the gauges onto this once we've done it we'll get the uh, cover to put on as well I think a few bolts uh, a few bolts to put on which are on that yeah, never there. So, aye, so we've got all this rear end, we'll get the derriere done. The size of these tyres, man, I think they're 275s or something like that. 275 by 35, 19, aye, so they're big boys like these big boys. Again, it's very cold in the Scotland, so please hit that subscribe button for me, it'll make me feel a lot more warm and fuzzy inside. And I'll let YouTube know that these guys love seeing these built in BMW, that brokenness everywhere, leaks everywhere. Leak, 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 leak. Biff! Oh, it's dry! Uh, can I see the flex disc on it? Biff bushes. Not too bad. Dry shaft seals. Dry, dry, dry. So that's all good at the back. So we'll get this pretty now. Uh, can I call me the rest of it? So thanks for watching again, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. So I've been warming the big bimmer up. Uh, warming that up outside because it was frozen solid. Um, you can hear it sitting right there, hunting up and down the revs, vroom, 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 vroom. Seems to have stopped now for a wee while, so... I'm not sure what's happening with it. It needs to go for this battery recall, uh, which I think is in March, 6th of March, I think. So, but I certainly worry, it's, it's not something you want to take a chance on, you know, you're running down the motorway and the first time it started happening, I crossed my phone and went, oh, my dash lights have just went out, it's using you know, the end just came back to life and drove the car home, it was fine. So, <coughs> excuse me. Then I think for a while he actually had a, a spare battery in the boot and uh, he was just swapping them over. It seems to be fine. <coughs> um, put a new battery sensor on it as well. We managed to get a second hand one, uh, which hadn't been animalised by somebody. So, um, but still want a bit of issues with charging. See if they run away okay at the moment. Just a few later, I put uh, twenty pounds worth of ninety-nine run in it. <laughs> no, no, it needs about two hundred quid. So, right, 
thanks for watching guys. Let's say uh, we'll start the view of bushes on it. Um we might have a wee play about with alignment. I'm not sure actually if these have got a, a centre spline for the steering wheel or somebody's maybe had that off before. Um because just going uh, with my gauges it should be should be a bit straight. So I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, we play a bit with it. We play a bit with it on the gauges, so yeah, thanks for watching this summer vehicle in the winter. Um, <coughs> we're going to head home now. It's incredibly cold. Um, incredibly cold yesterday, you know, I tried to fit an under tray onto this car and I was convinced uh, I had the right one and then I noticed the Audi badges and thought, oh god. <laughs> so yeah, never rains but balls and it's certainly raining and frozen and cold in Scotland.